Hello, and welcome to today's edition of Caddy's Corner. Oops, and the finger of the microphone. Hi, welcome to today's edition of Caddy's Corner. Um, no makeup on. I'm heading to the gym right now. It's uh, late afternoon on a Thursday, and uh, I spent the day prepping some food today. I told y'all I went to the grocery store yesterday. So let me get all this stuff done. So we've got some easy grab-and-go meals. Um, I did some chicken. Uh, actually buy the uh, boneless thighs because I want to get the organic chicken, but the breasts are super expensive. So I did that up with some onions and garlic and spices, and then I made some little baby potatoes, but I chopped them up real good and fried them in the pan, and then made my oatmeal pancakes. If you're not familiar with the recipe, it's basically oatmeal, protein powder, eggs, and then I make it with bacon, um, onions, and cheese, so they're like little bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches. Um, delicious. I made some mashed sweet potatoes. I also made some chicken salad that I can just eat directly out of the container. And uh, I feel like there's one or two foods that I made. The entire kitchen was a giant mess. But I uh, got it all cleaned up and now I'm off to the gym. Two hours later than I meant to be, but I'm going. So I feel good about that. I feel good about that. And um, honestly, I had to cancel plans with a friend today. I thought I'd have enough energy to go out and do something, but I think when I'm done with this, I'm going to go home and lay in bed and watch some movies. Um, I've been going hard lately, and I'm on my days off and my time off in the afternoons. I'm really trying to make progress. Uh, so, but that's a lot of work, and I'm tired. Um, but I was sitting there in the kitchen cleaning up, and I thought, you know... I was very disappointed that I had to cancel the plans. I'm trying to be very mindful about making things that are, you know, doable, makeable. I'm just trying to spread my time appropriately on my days off and on my days at work, at night. And I felt like I'd kind of failed her, because um, I haven't seen her in a while, by saying, I'm sorry, I have to cancel. But for the yin and yang, I do feel bad about that. I wish I didn't have to, but the flip side is, I've been really good about making those dates and putting them in my calendar and staying focused on what I've told people I'm going to do. And it didn't just say to her, hey, let's go do this thing that, a couple Thursdays from now and then completely forget about it. And I wasn't like at the gym when I got a text from her saying, hey, where are we meeting? And I'm like, oh, I totally forgot about it. Like, I remembered, I wanted to do it, wish I could have, but I also judged my own energy level today and decided it just wasn't a good idea. So, for me, that's a big win. And I don't care if anybody else thinks it's one. I am learning to pay attention to what I get right, what I get wrong, how I can do it better, what systems work. Do I put it in Evernote? Do I put it in my journal? Do I put it in Google? I'll tell you what, Google Calendar has become my new kind of best friend. I'm putting everything in that. Like, even though I wake up in the morning, if I have a thought, Something I want to get done that day. I just put it right there, right there. So that <laughs> a little off leash dog wandering about. So it's the day of my life, and uh, walking through Bed Stuy, going to the gym, and whew. I have a lot of hope lately. You may say, well, you're always talking about hope. Of course you do. Truth of the matter is, um, comes and goes. It wanes and waxes. And uh, I'm learning to let go of more things more often, faster. Had a really good talk with two different mics last night who then met each other, so it was like a tag team of mics happening and they're both very smart men who know how to look at life with a lot of philosophy engaged with it and spirit but also pragmatic reality and I think those are my favorite conversations to have with people um, before mic number two had shown up I'd ask mic number one why is it that we can see simple changes other people could make and sit there and go, well, why aren't they making them? And then yet ourselves also don't make simple changes. 
don't spend 99 cents at the dollar store to get the size containers we need for our lunch or spend an extra two hours a week reorganizing areas so it only takes us two minutes to get out of the house instead of 15. Like, why will we as humans continue to suffer through something and not make changes? And for me, I've been thinking a lot about communication lately. And um, quite honestly, I'm not great at it. I'm great once we're in it. I'm pretty good at like listening and saying my piece and making sure that we're on the same page and working through conflict. But the onset of like, hey, not happy, something's going on here. Um, or a question like, what, what are you doing? What, why'd you do that? And I need an answer boundaries um, so hmm don't all I know is that sometimes I just need to take a deep breath and say the words take a deep breath and shut my mouth and walk away because I've learned that some people there is nothing to be said there is nothing you can do to adapt their view of reality. There just isn't. Anyway, um, we've got the old um, daylight savings happening on Sunday. So, yeah, we lose an hour of sleep that night, but we get more sun. Ah, love the sun. Anyway, take it easy, y'all. Thanks for joining me in Caddy Land. Do it again when we do it. Um, that's it. <laughs> Have a great weekend, and uh, I'll touch in on uh, how my karaoke shifts are going. All right, take it easy, y'all. Bye.